What's happening, everybody? Happy New Year. How's everybody doing? Uh, Tour Head Nerdy with you. Um, about to talk about um, my top New Year shows. And, you know, they're my top New Year shows because they're the ones that I actually saw. So I guess you have to consider those the top New Year shows because you actually went and saw them. Um, I started out in uh, 1983 seeing my first New Year show. I got some of the. This is the very first little flyer thing that I got somebody hand me in the parking lot. It's December 27th, 28th, 30th, 31st, San Francisco Civic, which is where I saw, like I just mentioned, my first New Year show. Um, I got my uh, Happy New Year thing that somebody handed me at some point. So yeah, I got the Christmas and the New Year's holiday stuff up. Um, 1983, my first year. Got my tickets from my friend Melissa, um, who I uh, ended up um, staying uh, with her family, who was super nice to me about it. Um, she got tickets. I initially got a denial letter sending mine in. So I had to get tickets through her. Luckily, thank you, Melissa. But yeah, um, we got denied uh, at first, and that was a bummer. And this is what they would send you. It says... Uh, we are very sorry to inform you that Grateful Dead concert on December 31st, 1983, New Year's Eve, is completely sold out. There will be no tickets at the door in capital letters underlined. So, um, that was a bummer. Uh, but Melissa did come through. This was the ticket that I got from her, and I got the other three nights also. So, I got to see all of them, and it was quite a run. Um, I was young, I was 18 years old, and... Um, Here's what I remember about the show. Um, this story is not in my book, to her head. Um, but we went into the show. I had hung out the first three nights. They did play um, the um, Mind Left Body Jam for the first time since 1974. That's a highlight on the first night, which was uh, December 27th. Um, it was insane. Um, on New Year's Eve... We were up in the balcony, and then I was down on the floor for, for the balloons coming down, but I was so high on acid that the floor and everybody, when they were dancing, was flexing and moving, and it was crazy. Not like, you know, a foot or anything, but because of the rhythm of everyone dancing to the shows, to the songs on the show, the floor on that whole ring balcony at the San Francisco Civic Center was flexing around. It was freaking me out. I would go down to the floor and it wasn't moving. I'd sit there and it wasn't moving. I'd go back up, people be dancing, it was moving. I thought it was me at first and I was only high three of the four nights. Not all four nights. I didn't get high every single night. Just three of the four. So I checked it on one of the nights that I wasn't high and the floor was definitely flexing and it was freaking me out. And it would move a lot. Probably because of earthquake safety, I would imagine. You know, it is San Francisco. Um, but Check it out. The Grateful Dead crowd made the floor move like it was a fucking earthquake. And it was fucking amazing, especially on New Year's Eve. That New Year's Eve, we got to see uh, Big Boss Man, which was fucking insane, um, with Maria Muldaur and Rick Danko. Oh, and by the way, let me back up. The band opened for this New Year's in 1983, and I had never seen the band up to that point. I'd seen them many times subsequently, but um, it was amazing to see them. We went early. Um, at midnight, they did the 1812 Overture doo, 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 with all the horns and played it for like three and a half minutes while the dead came out and busted into Big Boss Man or into Sugar Mag at midnight. And then for the third set, they did Big Boss Man, Ico Ico, Midnight Hour. And then the only time they ever did Goodnight Irene, they performed it at my very first New Year's Eve um, in 1983, going into 1984. Um Jerry Band played Goodnight Irene a lot, um, obviously, but The Dead only did it one time, and I am happy to say that I got to see it, so um, I wanted to share some of that stuff with you. Um, happy New Year to everybody. Uh, this is 2021 going into 2022. Let's hope that everything is much better this year. Um, uh, you have a fantastic year. Hope you had a good this year. 2020 sucked, as we know. Um, if you like this vid and you like New Year's and you want to celebrate, then give me a thumbs up, um, hit the like button, and leave me a comment and tell me about your favorite New Year's shows and how many you saw and what you did. Um, let me run back through it really quick. 83. 84. 85. 
I missed 86. I saw the three shows prior. I was on crutches, and it was the only time I have ever not been able to get into a show ever, ever, ever out of every single time I ever tried to go to see the dead. So I missed 86. This is 87. I took off and retired, sort of, from tour, got off tour in 88. This is 2002 with the other ones, and I went and saw that with Ferd and Randall uh, Standridge. And then my shiny, cool-looking fall um, fun run tour from the 2019 into 2020 New Year's, which is the most recent one I saw. So, Happy New Year to everyone. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Give me a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right, I'm out of here. Shh, <laughs>